Hi you guys. Um, this is my face <laughs> without makeup. Mm, pretty scary sight. Um, I'm going to do a impromptu, uh, impromptu uh, skin base foundation by Elamaska review. That's what. It, sorry, my hands are terrible. I've just done a fake tan. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to go into the shower later and wash it off so it's just developing so I look like a crazy person. Um, so just take a bit onto a Real Techniques brush. This one is the contour brush that I use. I just kind of stipple it all over the face. Um, you don't need a lot of this. Um, even though I have pretty bad skin. Thanks to PCOS, I don't need lots of this. It's actually quite a high coverage kind of foundation. Um, look at my tan! Oh my god! Um, I'm seriously gonna need to blend this out later. Look at look at that! <laughs> oh lordy! Okay, so we're just rubbing this into the skin. I tend to do more of a buffing motion, but you can do whatever works for you guys. Um, I wouldn't say it's full coverage, I'd say, let's just say medium to full, you can build it up. Um, but it doesn't feel heavy or mask-like or it's not too matte um, and it's not too dewy, it's just kind of red. And if you see my haul, you'll know I got this off eBay because I didn't pay like 30 quid or something that it actually really is. I just paid like, I think it was 10 or 12 quid. Um, so it was quite a good deal. Some lady had bought it and just used it once and it was the wrong shade for her, so she sold it on. Mm. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of... Blending it out, um, getting into all the crevices because half of what makeup's about is just blending it and blending it and blending it. So I kind of I spend a good bit of time on this part of my makeup routine just because if you get the base right, then you're onto a winner. So that's that. Okay, um, now I just need to get my powder one second. I've just moved things around a little bit and I can't find anything. Um, so I just used the Tree Match by L'Oreal. My shade is Rose Ivory. Um, I'll just use a big fluffy brush. This one just happens to be Estee Lauder. And just put it in, I just put it into the sides of the face. Chin area, sides of the face, because you just don't want to look too dead, if you know what I mean, down the nose. I used to over powder, I think, um, and then I kind of look too mattified. I don't do that anymore. Um, okay, so here we are. Just taking, just taking the uh, Chick Radiance by Bare Minerals. Tapping some into the lid. And then just a fan brush of any description. This one happens to be by Bella PR Cosmetics. And just take a little bit onto the brush and tap it off. And then just do your kind of face. <laughs> It's quite a nice contour colour. And then just load it up again and just go around the hairline. Because I've obviously done a fake tan, I'm going to have to apply 
a little bit more generously than usual because I don't want to like like I've got a white face if you know what I mean so just kind of warm up the face slim down the nose under the bottom lip kind of make sure lips look fuller the lighting in here is absolutely shocking today it's quite overcast outside so I'm uh, just trying to show you what it looks like yeah that's kind of coming together okay sorry you're at an angle now but <laughs> I've kind of got you um, propped up in a little basket okay hope you're comfy <laughs> Okay, so just kind of let that sit for a second and then you can do your eyebrows. It's important to let these kind of sit, steps sit a little bit. I've just got this, it's a tiny little stick now, but it's the Allure um, Eyebrow Shaper. Um, I highly recommend these. I've got the little brush on the other end, like this, and just kind of go in and do your brows. So I'm just going to shape them in. So that's kind of like that. And then just kind of spoolie the front of it, just so it's not as harsh. Um, so yeah, that's kind of about right. Let's do the other one. Sorry, I thought it cut off on me there for some reason. But I'm still live. Okay, so yeah, that's fine. Um, next step is highlighter. I use this MAC Mineral Skin Finish. Um, sometimes I use Bobbi Brown. In fact, I will just use Bobbi Brown because I do prefer it. And this is just a Real Techniques uh, pointed foundation brush. I just go into the lighter shades of the shimmer brick. Just do the cupid's bowl. High points of the kind of under eyebrow area. Um, and then when I do my blusher, I'll just go over a little bit more. Which brings me on to my blusher. I've been using this cream elf um, blusher for a wee while. It's called heartbreaker and I just go in with a small or sorry a real techniques buffing brush and I just kind of tap it in to the cream product and go to the cheek area and you're not too worried about how blended it is because this is just literally something for your partner to cling on to I find that this makes the makeup just last a lot longer Okay, so that's that. You don't need a lot of it, but just where you would cite your product, you just want to have it there. Um, then you just take the um, bare minerals <laughs> um, foundation or the blending brush, and I take the vintage peach in bare minerals and just go straight in there and all over where you want your blusher. Okay, and then if it's a little bit strong, you can just blend it out with your big fluffy brush. Like so. And that 
brings me onto my eyes. So I've had a little bit of a pink eye kind of infection in this eye here. So I don't want to do too much with my eyes at the moment. I have been leaving them alone on the most part for a few days. To kind of give them a break. Um, so we'll see what we're going to do today. Uh, da, 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 da. I'll probably use just my Urban Decay palette, which I've been using for like years. Um, and I think I will just take uh, Twice Baked, which is kind of neutral brown shadow. And this is just a Victoria Jackson fluffy brush. And just load up the product onto there. <laughs> and just kind of sweep it over the lid. Usually I do the whole twice line, twice eyeliner thing and all that kind of stuff, but I'm just kind of doing an everyday kind of makeup look here. Something quick and easy. Just blending it up into the socket. Not taking it above the uh, socket bone, just kind of blending it to there. Just so it's nice and blended out. So it's like that. And take the Urban Decay Tiny Little Brush and some Oil Slick. Which is a kind of black as black, if you like. Just find it easier to apply sometimes than eyeliner. If you're going for like a softer kind of look. Um, and then you just want to kind of blend up a little bit. And you're just going to take this Bobbi Brown, Bobbi Brown pointed brush. I'm just kind of blend it out slightly. So it's like that. Um, and then just to kind of add a little bit of something, take a half baked, which is the golden shade here, and just go straight into the middle and pop a little bit on each side. Just to add a little bit of uh, sparkle. And I think that's it. I'm just going to apply a little bit of the Hypnotize Mascara. So I hope everyone on my site is keeping well. Um, I welcome all my new subscribers. Like I keep getting them every day. I don't know how because my videos are normally pretty crap. <laughs> Self-critic of the year. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've just been kind of lackluster this year. I think with all the TTC and treatment and issues i've just been a bit worn out this year really um i'm hoping next year is a much better year for us so yeah thanks for all my new subscribers and i will keep doing beauty videos as much as i can so that, i think that's pretty much everything. Um, I'll just do something quickly on my lips. Um, something pretty neutral because I've got a pretty dark eye. I might, I'm going to try this Tiger Eye. This is from Estee Lauder.
And I got this, I got this in my, um, in fact I got this, this, and this, all three of those um, in the um, Estee Lauder special pack for Christmas. You buy the perfume and you get the makeup artist kit for £50. Um, and yes, yeah, last at me really well. I don't use them all the time, but it's, you know, they're nice kind of lipsticks. Um, you get a couple of lip glosses with it and you get loads of eyeshadows and eye, uh, eye makeup remover and cleanser. It's just, they're really good actually. So that's kind of the finished look. It's, um, some would say it's quite a lot, but for me that's a kind of everyday kind of normal look. It's slightly more on the eyes, I have to say, than I would usually wear. I actually forgot how dark um, the twice baked can be, but with the lighter shade of half baked in the middle it looks um, a bit lighter. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and as I say, um, keep liking my videos and if there's anything you want to see, um, any tutori tutorials or anything, let me know. Um, and again, I'm sorry about my horrible tan, but I'm going to be washing that off later and moisturising and hoping it's a lot kind of better. It's actually the he she tan that I got in my little uh, box, which is that one there, and it's called Express Liquid Tan, if you want to know the shade or anything. It's a terrible example of a tan, but hey, <laughs> I'm a novice. Um, so anyway, guys, I want to go now. I have got stuff to do, but um, have a lovely day and I shall speak to you all soon. Bye.